you are a national expert on water, which I yes. love the fact that you're sitting beside me. <laughs> and so let's just start with, with that and, and talk about water in general. Let me thank you, Keith and Sheila, for having me here again. Mm -hmm. I'm really honored. This show is wonderful. Uh, water is something that everyone takes for granted. Mm -hmm. Oh, and, and, that's and it. And no one gives, gives it a second thought, unless you're in a desert area. Right, right. But in Minnesota, I, I find that because we have so many lakes, that it's just something that people oh. just think it's going to be good. We mm -hmm. fish. We're outdoor people. Nature is beautiful. Right. Um, so... Uh, who cares about water? We've got it all over right. the place. Now, in other areas where it's dry, I was born in one of those areas, Tucson, Arizona. Uh, water is a priority, and people way back when I was young would die driving through the state because they had their convertible roofs down, thinking they were going to cool themselves while they were dehydrating. Mm, sure. And end up in a hospital. Kind of the reverse of what people can happen here in Minnesota if you don't have enough clothes. Right. You can oh, freeze. Oh, right. right. If you right. don't. If, so uh, if you're going up north in Minnesota in the winter, don't have the convertible top down. That's the, that's the lesson, right? <laughs> right. Well, you dehydrate. You're okay. getting sun. You right. think you're cooling yourself off. Right. But the point is, it's just something that we don't give a second thought to. Mm -hmm. And it is, and we found, as you read science journals or anything, that uh, we have believed that if there's no water on that planet, that there would be no life mm -hmm. there as well. So they still look for water underneath it because it's the key. Uh, it's the key to life. Mm -hmm. And if your body, when you're born as a baby, is over 90% water, mm -hmm. which, by the way, has been purified, almost distilled by the mother. Okay. okay. So, so she is the filter for that baby. Okay, so you, you've had it then. You get a little bit older in middle age, uh, and uh, maybe you're uh, 80%. And as we get even older, uh, sometimes our level of water is 70%. So hence they say, you know, you dry up when you get older, you tend to, you dry up. Well, you, well, it's you dry, you get old and crusty. And the reason yeah. you're you, and dehydrated. Yeah. Well, the reason that's, that's why is because we've become so crusty that when the water comes in, if it's not purified and contaminant, then you're just adding more crust to you. Mm -hmm. right. So therefore you go to the bathroom more often. And as you get older, you start losing sleep because you're so contaminated with the water because of the water that you're drinking. And your body, once it drink, drinks some water mm -hmm. or even juices, it says, flush me. Oh. So you keep going. So as I've shared with people, uh, if you have distilled water, which is which has eliminated uh, the minerals that are not useful to you, which means uh, inorganic. Right. You can't digest dirt or calcium carbonate or iron in its purest form you need it to be uh you need it to be changed by a food substance but so as you get older what happens is that well i better drink less water because i want to sleep right i don't okay. want to get up and go to the bathroom in the middle of the right. right so therefore you start shrinking your cells and your body and your bones all require that because you're holding less water so so when you drink distilled water what ha that happens is good water coming in and then your body flushes. So, yes, your body's going to take out the opportunity to go to the bathroom if you've been having that issue uh, at night. Mm -hmm. It's going to do it again and maybe a little bit more for a short while. That's exactly what I experienced. I would yes. get up sometimes three times a night mm -hmm. and go to the bathroom. And so, and so. When I, you started drinking the. Dis before. No. Okay. All right. Before. Okay. I would just three times a night okay. I'd get up and go to the bathroom. And then, so because of that, I would never drink water yes. after six o'clock. But you would drink. That was when you drank your coffee, so late. I'd still drink coffee because it didn't. See, I didn't. I was seeing it differently. Yeah. But I knew clearly. that, and it clearly did. It clearly was different. If I drank a glass of water, I knew I was going to have versus a your coffee wakeful night yes. because I was going to be up all the time. So then we start, we switch, so we bought a distiller, we, I put it in myself, it's easy to do, I'd be happy to talk anyone through it, it's so easy to do, went out and bought a drill, drilled through my granite <laughs> countertop, you know, put the spigot Him out and there, my dad. the You're whole good. nine yards, it was just, it was so easy to do, it was a fun project. Anyhow, so I started drinking distilled water, the first thing I noticed was it, 
it tasted good. I always complained about other waters, and this water I could actually drink. And I don't like cold water. I drink room temperature water. So yeah, I, don't care I would cold. find myself in the evening, instead of having a cup of coffee sitting beside me, I'd have a glass glass, not plastic, no. you know, glass, glass of water. And I would be sipping on the water. And for a while, I was like, man, I'm going to have a bad night because you know, I'm, I'm pounding down this water. Sometimes I'd have two or three glasses of water. I couldn't get water in them at all. This before. is going to be rough, That's right? That's big. That Just is I'm big. That yeah, water. right. It's big. So, and sure enough, it, you know, we started doing it. And I, yep, here we go. You know, 2 o'clock, I'm up taking the bath, you know, going to the bathroom. You know, 4 o'clock, I'm up going to the bathroom. Last night, I had a full you know, a 16 ounce glass of water after dinner. I was reading a book, and uh, and pounded down the water, and I slept right through the night. I mean, it's just like I. And how long have we had it in? Around around was it Thanksgiving? Because uh, Dad yeah. came to help, and right. my and right. my, my nieces and my right nieces through and the holidays. Were there. We just we just got the the uh, uh, device that that automatically cleans it, the uh, emptying out the device on it. So anyhow. So what you've said is exactly what I experienced. Well, congratulations, because you've reached another level towards better health. Mm -hmm. and, and, and the reason, let me share with you why that does happen, is good water is coming in. Before it was bad water right. coming in, trying to flash out the toxins or bad things in your body. So you are in an endless cycle. Mm -hmm. And right. as we get older, the contaminants get into your cells and skin. So instead of having a cell that has H2O in it, which means it has some O in it, oxygen right, as well. Right. You now had a dirt cell or a, a cell that was just dirty and couldn't hold those healthy things. But now you've been drinking distilled water, <clears throat> and what happens is it keeps it comes in, and the contaminants in your body start the things that your body does not need, mm -hmm. or the waste in your body, or the dirt that you've had in your body that it cannot use is starting to flush out. Okay, and it takes a while. Some people, depending on the contaminants, it'll be longer than others. But inevitably, you finally come to the point where you're not going to the bathroom as much, and that's because you're not as toxic, and that is really great. So you've, you're eliminating your toxicity, and you're replacing what was a garbage cell right. Right. with H2O. And now your body is less likely to dehydrate like a prune. Right. And, and be more like a plum because you're holding water in a healthy manner. So one of the key things to staying youthful is, yes, some topical cosmetics, things right. that you put on your skin right. can help. But I don't know of anyone who's just done that and then uh, that's, that's lived very long, if that's all they did, because they <laughs> lacked water. So the way to really do it is holistically, yes, externally, but to drink it from the inside out because now you have a cell that has water in it instead of trash. And, and, and that's so exciting. And I, when I deal with someone, I, I go through those things because almost everything I shared with you, I've experienced myself because I've noted most everything. And people that I talk to experience it, and I go, okay, you're on to better things now. Now you know if you're, not, if you're starting to feel a little bit uh, not, not normal, mm -hmm. start drink, drink a little more distilled water, <clears throat> Because it'll minimize whatever you're going to experience next. Right, right, right. 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 Okay, I'm yeah. not saying it's going to stop it. Right, I'm right. just saying it prepares your, your body because it's healthier. It's right. more ready to fight. Right.